It's Margarita, and today we are taking it to the house of Hermes with Eau de Rhubarb Ecarlat. Now, I don't know if I pronounced that name properly because it is French, <laughs> but that's my stab at it. Now, Hermes is a fragrance house. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a leather goods house, but the fragrances from Hermes have never really impressed me, which is why I've never done a review on them. But something told me to try. Check out this presentation. I love the Hermes boxes, the beautiful orange, and they carry this through to the fragrance presentation. I'm not sure if all their fragrances come like this, but I really like the packaging. The bottle is really nice. Their bottles have a tendency to be a bit understated for my liking. So for the display, they're a bit meh. But let's see how it smells. Atomizer is great, wonderful distribution. While this is drying down, let me read the notes. It's just three notes. Well, according to Fragrantica anyway, rhubarb, red berries, and white musk. Now what made me want to try this is the red berries and the white musk. For some reason, musk absolutely loves my body chemistry and I love it back. Now rhubarb has a tendency to go tart and there's a few fragrances that have this as a note that I don't like. But being the perfumista that I am, I am still willing to try things that have no-no notes because maybe they're blended well with other things. So let's see. It's very green. I'm getting the tart greenness. It's almost musty. Um, think like how cantaloupe, the rind of cantaloupe smells, or honeydew. It's kind of along those lines. It's not bad, but I think it smells better as a room freshener or a candle. I would not wear this. It's borderline masculine also, very unisex. It's fresh, but it's too, roomy it, it smells more like a house freshener than a personal fragrance on me i don't know if people wear this as a signature scent or anything but it's very tart very green um almost grassy like so if you can think of that it smells like freshly cut grass with strawberries on top <laughs> so maybe think of a strawberry vine kind of like that very outdoorsy smelling so i would not recommend this for a date unless you don't like the person or you don't want to, to have a second date. This is not a close encounter fragrance. It may be appropriate for an easy reach, but spending over $100 for an easy reach, I don't see that being feasible for most people. So all in all, this one gets a thumbs down from me. So yeah, yet another Hermes fragrance that I am not a fan of, which reminds me of why I have yet to buy one to keep for myself. I tried Twilly. Uh, they just really didn't do anything for me. I've smelled a few of their other ones from different um, from different lines that they have. Nothing from Hermes has wowed me. If you know of any good Hermes fragrances that I can try, especially if they're gourmand, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you tried their rhubarb fragrance. I'd love to hear about it and let me know if it worked for you. Also, like and subscribe to our channel because we talk about it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly of all things that have a smell to them. <laughs> Products, that is. <laughs> But anywho, until next time, I am Margarita, and you have an awesome day. Bye.